Hey, what's up, guys? Zero Select here. Finally, bring you guys some showdown live, or any kind of video, actually. Uh, I don't know why. I just haven't really been feeling sitting down recording, uh, specifically Pokemon Showdown. Um, I and mean, I could very easily, you know, just keep recording like Pokemon Let's Plays, but I don't want my channel just be to be based off Let's Plays. Uh, I want it to be, you know, a more competitive channel with Showdown and things like that. But the thing is, I haven't really been, you know, feeling. Uh, showdown or competitive Pokemon at all uh, But uh What are I guess I'll, I'll try and and do something I have this team I've been working on it for quite some time uh, I've been taking a lot of Lot of losses uh, trying to make this team work as best as possible uh, But uh, this is the, the current team that I have right now. Uh, it's gone a lot of a lot of changes uh, from the original uh, from the original, uh, but uh, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I'm gonna go here, look for a couple battles, and uh, see how that goes. <coughs> Alright, we, 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 we found a match over here. Uh, got a Mega Pincer team. It's kind of terrifying. Uh, but I do have a Mega Dancy that get, keeps in check relatively well. Uh, lead to my end though, I don't know what could be a good lead, Oxycune could be an excellent lead, uh, I'm guessing he's just going to get off the Perlune, um, I want to lead off with Diancy, so I can get the Mega Evolution as soon as possible, I do have Protect on it, and I'm running a mix that with the, uh, you know, Diamond Star, Moonblast, and Earth Power for that coverage, um, uh, don't know if I should make it just straight up, uh, physical, or I mean special, with a uh, Hidden Power Fire instead of Diamond Star, uh, but I do have Toaster that helps me deal with Feral Thorn, so I mean, it's like not it's not really a problem. Or I'm just gonna go here, Mega Evolve, click protect. Uh, this could be Scarf Lander's T. <coughs> See, he has Rotom and Heatran. Yeah, he's gonna go straight for the Earthquake, so he's most likely uh, physical. I do have mm, what to switch in. I want to go into Oswin. but I think Oxycle might be better because uh, I could be able to Volt Switch out on. Uh, he's supposed to wrote him if he wants to go into that. Uh, if he goes out into his balloon, we'll have an excellent switch into that. In my ch chestnut, so it's not even a problem. But yeah, he goes out into his rotom. So that's good. I'm gonna have my own rotom in here. Uh, I'm just gonna click bolt switch and hope to God that he's faster than me. <clears throat> I usually run zero speed on rotom, but I'm running just enough to outspeed Charlie max speed uh, Azumarill so I can burn that fucker. Because, uh, you know, my team is kind of weak to Azumarill. So, all right, yeah, he he is much faster than me. Uh, that does a lot of damage. But then again, I'm physical defensive, not special defensive. So, <coughs> don't know if that's a defensive road or more like more offensive one to a scarf or something like that. It's gonna go into his Latias. All right, that's good. So I can go into uh, Toaster and set up my rocks. Or I can even go into a mechanic and pursuit trap this thing. Hopefully he does not have HP fire. He will be Draco Meter, Side Shock, Healing Wish, and Roost and Defog, I believe, is a set. So yeah, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try to pursuit trap with uh Caesar. Um don't really see Caesar doing too much for me. Aside from just you know keeping this thing in check, but I do have Diana. Uh so and I say that because I mean he has Rotom, he has Landers T, and he has Heatran, so Mechanic really won't be doing too much. So yeah, I get the, rid of the Latias early on, so that's fantastic. Uh, if I manage to set my rocks up, um, <coughs> there's you know they they will be there to stay, so that's fantastic. Uh, and I, that's a free chance for him to get his Mega Evolution off with his Pincer if he, if he so chooses to do so. Uh, but no, he just decides to go into his Heatran. I'm gonna go into my own Heatran. Um, <coughs> want to go into Diancy just in case he sets up the Stealth Rocks, uh, but that's a little risky because he might be the, you know, one variant of Heatran running Flash Cannon, so that's, you know, not optimal at all. Uh, so yeah, the Rocks are there. I'm just going to set up my own Rocks, because, uh, I mean, the Rocks hurt him more than they hurt me because he has Pinsir. Uh, that's my thing. Thanks to my team. All right, you know, that weak to it, so, uh, it comes to Rotom. I don't have protect on this thing, so I can't see what he wants to lock himself into, which is unfortunate, very unfortunate. Uh, I could pull a switch onto Mechanicus, like I said, he really isn't uh, 
like necessary you know what I mean uh, <clears throat> don't want to take too much damage with oxyclean I could just go into my Latios to be honest I do have earthquake on it just for the heat train so yeah I'll go into Latios uh, don't want to sack the teaser just yet I don't want to get it burned just yet you know it could be useful just to get off a bullet punch here and there or u-turn uh, so whatever he's just gonna go straight for the hydro pump all right it's gonna go ahead and drop a Draco meter the combination Draco meter followed by earthquake will be able to take out the uh, uh, the heat trance I'm not really worried <coughs> unless he's that one guy that stays in we just wrote him to take the Draco meter and they get the slow bolt switch out uh, but no, he's just gonna go into straight into his heat trance. So the strike meter does a hell of a lot. Not really, 28%. I will fucking take it. But uh, follow by an earthquake, and that should be a dead heat trance. <coughs> and there it is. All right, all right. So good things are happening. Good things are happening for me. That that's. That's really good. <clears throat> uh, before the Rotom, I had a Meloetta, and uh, I mean Meloetta was deep, was useful, but I that was before I added the Ladio, so you know I had two things with two Psychic. I mean two. Uh, what the word I'm looking for? I had two Psychic types, and you know that's really not that good when Bishop is running around everywhere. Uh, it's also Mega Sableye too, so like uh, you know. I couldn't really do what I needed to do with Meloetta, which was a mixed relic song set. Uh, <clears throat> so, you know, that's that. Uh, it's gonna go ahead, you turn out most likely that's his pincer gets Mega Evolution off. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to sack my Heatran. Heatran is completely useless. Because, uh, you know, the rest of his team, I took out his uh, Latios and his Heatran except the rocks. Uh, I'm not gonna defog at all. Because, like I said, I'm not really weak to rocks. So. <coughs> Yeah, it comes to Pinsir. Uh, I think Pinsir has 105 uh, max speed. So Diana can definitely outspeed. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to have to Toaster. Uh, not going to bother Ghost for Spiky Shield. Because <coughs> he will most likely just Source Dance anyway. So. Yeah, he goes to Source Dance. And then, uh, I guess I just click roar one up. I'm just gonna die to this, uh, mo uh, earthquake or close combat. Maybe even return, I don't know. Yeah, close combat it is, alright. Alright, so I got my Diancy at max B, uh, max HP, so I should be able to take a, uh, quick attack. Easily, plus two quick attack, should definitely take that. Uh, and he has nothing switching on this uh, moon blast, and at minus one special defense, it should kill. Yeah, 419 special attack. That is disgusting. <laughs> but, but yeah. Oh, uh, original. The original team I, I had had a uh, Mega Altaria, uh, but the team, you know, the team that I have right now, it didn't really complement it very well, and the the ANSI definitely fit the bill a lot better. Uh, but ever, you know, ever since I added Diancy, my team has been a little bit better. But of course, uh, quick, quick protect. I'm I'm pretty sure this is a scarf photo. The way he's he's been playing it, I'm pretty damn sure it's scarf. <laughs> yeah, you see, he goes for hydro pump. Now, if he goes for a will of here, predicting to switch out, then, you know, that'd be something else. Because he has out, I don't see leftovers. Yeah, he could be Resto Chesto and just be bluffing it, the Scarf, but, I don't know. Put the pincer yet again. Going to Oswin. Don't really mind, because, of course, I still have Dancy that keeps this thing in check, so. <coughs> uh, Dancy should be able to clean up late game, maybe? I don't know, because he has a Landers. Uh, but yeah, he goes for close combat there. That's a lot of damage. <coughs> but I'm just going to bullet punch. Uh, he could take me out with a quick attack here. But uh, it doesn't matter. Caesar's not really necessary for me to win. Anyways, so... <coughs> I can just go right back onto Deancey. And uh, click Moonblast.
Mm -hmm. Alright, all that's left is this U-turn core. Landers T and uh, Rotom. So. I still haven't... I don't know if this thing's scrapped or not. I really don't. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go into Oxy Clean because I know it's just going to U-turn out. So I don't want to go out into Oswin and give him, you know, go out into his road and he, you know, randomly have HP Fire or HP Ice or something. Uh, so Oxy Clean is what I'm going to do. He's going to go for Knock Off. Uh, now I just click Will-O-Wisp or now I click Paint Split. Should be able to take another Knock Off. <coughs> or get my HP back up. Fully registered. It does, so that's nice. Uh, now you just click Will O Wisp. Let's see what's up. What, what's the deal with this Rotom? It could be the uh, the trick set with uh, Hydro Pump Volt Switch and Will O Wisp. So he could trick here, uh, cripple my Rotom, uh, and you know he would be in a much better position going forward. But I guess well, I guess we'll see. Hmm. Is he running two Scarfers? Hmm. Misses the Hydro Pump, which is unfortunate. I don't know how much that would have done, but... Yeah, he's just gonna forfeit, because, I mean, the... It really wasn't much he could do. He couldn't really break through, uh... Oswin over here with the last two Pokemon, especially now that his bro was most likely, uh, locked on that Hydro Pump. So, uh, we'll take that win. <coughs> Let's look for another one. Like I said, this team, it has been doing a lot better since I added the Mega Diancy and the Rotom. Um, but the earlier stages of the team, oh my god, it was just bad. Holy crap. Like, it looked good on paper. It was pretty diverse. Uh, but it, it just, I don't know. Well, oh, Weavile. I gotta watch out for that. Uh, I really have to watch out for that. I don't know what his lead will most likely be. Maybe Zeptile? Uh, to yeah, get the Mega Evolution as soon as possible. Um, I guess I'll lead off with a uh, mechanic. Except that might be a pr problem. <coughs> yeah, I'll lead off with mechanic just in case he decides to lead off with uh, Weavile. But he decides to lead off Gyarados. It's kind of a weird choice of a lead. Uh, could just as easily lead off with Oxic Lane. Which is what who I'm going to go into now. I'm pretty damn sure there's gonna be Mega Sceptile if there's a Gyarados on the field. Um, if he turns out to be Mega Gyarados, then you know, whew, fuck me. I'll click Bolt Switch. I'm really sure this is not fucking Mega Gyarados. <coughs> this nice team uh, looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, the um, the Weavile, <coughs> the Weavile, the Chansey, and, and the the fucking the fucking Weezing. <clears throat> Not bad. I'll, could, no, he's, he outspeeds me. Yeah, he definitely outspeeds me. Hmm, that's how it's up. If he has HP fire, I can't go out to mechanic. Can't go out to toaster if he has earthquake. <coughs> I go into Oswin and Drain Punch. But I need Oswin. No, then, mm, do I need Oswin? Uh, actually, no. I'll go into Oswin. Because, I, I mean, I would like to have Oswin as extra insurance so I don't get swept by Mega uh, fucking Gyarados. But. Whatever, I pulled the train punch. Should be able to take one HP fire. Because Oswin is pretty bulky. Well, at least that, you know, doesn't die to a fucking HP fire. Like, uh. Someone else over there does. Alright, I can take another one. I'm gonna go for Spiky Shield. Get my HP back up again. <coughs> he might want to go ahead and switch out into his Weezing. Which he does. Let's just go for Spiky Shield. Uh, now I can just go into Toaster. And uh, set up my rocks. As it will most likely Will O Wisp. Unless he pulls a double out here. No, he's just, he just goes straight for the Will O Wisp. Um, could fire off a 
Flash Rod boosted Lava Plume, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna go into his Chansey anyway, so I'm gonna set my rocks and then click Roar. Uh, and I need to make a ball with my dance as soon as possible so I can switch it into uh, Chansey whenever the hell I want to. But if I'm willing to bet he is going to click uh, Wish right now. Oh, I, I really wish I had a uh, fucking. Alright, Dragon that comes in. His multi skill is broken, so that's pretty nice. Uh, hmm. I don't know what I expect from this Dragonite. Probably an Earthquake? Extreme Speed? Dragon Dance? I don't know, I'll go into Octane. Alright, because I have the Little Wisp. So. Let's go straight for the Outrage, even though I have a fucking Berry. Are you, uh, what? Hmm, I have no way to tell if that's banned or not. So I'm just gonna make it evolve and click protect. I mean, props for him, he knew I wasn't gonna switch in my Nancy. But still. I mean, just going straight forward, he just gave me a free chance to make it evolve my Nancy. I want to go into heat train again. I mean, he doesn't have much to deal with it, anyways. Um, would he really go for the Willis again? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> gotta watch out. I gotta watch out for this man's team. On false move, and I could very well end up losing to like Weeball or something. This double out into Oswin. And he forfeits. Okay. Yeah, if I had played this one wrong, I could have. I would have gotten wrecked by Weeball. Weeball kind of puts work on my team. Uh, you know, because of the knockoff. But I'm going to look for another match. What do we have here? Balloon, Bisharp, Rotom W, Mega Low Pony, well it looks like Mega Slowbro. I mean Mega Slowbro is good, but regular Slowbro is just as good as well. Uh, so I'm guessing Mega Low Pony. Uh, and yeah. Leave the Ancy, uh, Mega Evolution Protect, and uh, go from there. Gotta check, I don't know how well uh, Chestnut can take hits from Mega Low Pony. That's something I gotta find out. I gotta find out the hard way. I, I could be like everybody else that does damage calcs, but I kind of just want want to do it you know, the hard way. <clears throat> Hydro pump first turn. Well, I mean, this is a, it's gonna both switch out here most likely. I really don't think this is choice. Misses the hydro pump. Do I click bullet whisper? Or just full switch out. I'm not full switch out. Hmm. Well, fuck me. I should have clicked Willow Wisp. But going with the assumption that he's going for Willow Wisp here. I'm going on to Latios and switching the fuck out into Chestnut. Fuck. Well, I just lost my Latios. That's unfortunate. Or not. Definitely thought he would want to, you know, pursue treatment with Bishop. Uh, then that means this bishop most likely does not pursuit if he didn't just want to get rid of my Latios as soon as possible. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I can t I can take hits for days from this thing. Um, gonna go for lead seed. Really don't think he'll go into his balloon because uh, just a walls 
the living daylights of out of balloon. Um, just going for spec shield in case he goes out into his uh, slow bro and or his I mean or his uh, silver so I can get some more HP that way. We don't think he want to stay in and take a drink punch. I really don't. That ice punch did absolutely nothing. Holy crap! But then it, of course he he doesn't have huge power. I, I don't know why, but like I look at low punny and I think of like Mega Medisham, you know, huge power and stuff. Uh, he does stay in and go for the ice punch again. Okay. I, I, I have Drain Punch, dude. Is he going for the freeze? If he freezes me, I'm going to be really upset. I'm going to be really upset. Oh, now he switched sides. He switched sides to his Rotom. Alright. So this is a special defensive Rotom. Uh, I want to run to Diana, expecting the will o -Wisp to get to get him to burn himself. He's not going to Hydro Pump a fucking grass type. Uh, he could very well just easily go for a Volt Switch. But yeah, he goes straight. For, he goes for the will wisp so uh, that's nice. Get him all nice and burned up. And I'll go for Protect here just to rack him some more damage. Uh, how much does Moonblast do? I need to cap that. I right, can get out of here, Kentasia. Oh, it's lagging so badly. Uh, Diancy. Mega. Protom. W. Where is it? W, W. Are you defensive? Moonblast does a substantial amount. Of course, this is assuming physically offensive. Which is what every Protom is. And he can kill me with Hydro Pump, so... Ugh, no! Okay, he, he clicked full switch, great. Oh, he got a crit, that's annoying. That's really annoying. <laughs> that was completely un unnecessary. God damn it. Uh, so I'm guessing this is Special Defensive Rotom then, because the minimum damage that I would do to uh, Physical Defensive Rotom is 55% or something like that. Uh, is that any cup of Sylveon? Got the toaster. I do have Diamond Storm just for this kind of scenario, but uh, that's something I would much rather do on the Switch end. So. Goes for Hill Bell. Alright. I'll set up my rocks. Uh, so that means if he decides to Witch Pass to Rotom, he's going to down Switch in. So. And there it is. Goes for Yawn, what what the ever-loving fuck, what? Why well, am I keeping this thing asleep, actually, to be completely honest? That doesn't really help me with much, except for Sylveon. And even then, I'll have Flash Cannon, so it's like, not, not like, guaranteed. Whatever, I'm just gonna stay in the Lava Plumes to keep this thing asleep fodder. Don't want him to shuffle my team around with Yawn, it'd be really annoying. Alright, there goes the Wish. Um... Uh, I don't know what he would want to pass it on to. So I'll go into mechanic. Just in case. Just to, just to see what he wants to do. <laughs> He'll probably pass it on to his uh, low punny. It's the only thing that's at low health that won't die on switching. Mm -hmm. It is the low punny, in fact. In indeed. Um, don't know if I can take a high jump kick from this thing. Fuck. <laughs> uh, do I go into toaster as fodder? I kind of need a sleep fodder. Hmm. Do I need this? Eh, I mean, it helps me kill the Sylveon, but. He's yawn, heal build. He's mono attacking. So, hmm. I want to click procedures to kill this low punny right now. I'm doing it. I don't care. YOLO! <clears throat> Alright, I took it. So, that's a dead-ass low punny. I don't have to worry about its shenanigans anymore. Uh, I did have a chestnut, but I don't think... Ch I think chestnut is too KO'd by a uh, high jump kick. Pretty sure it is. Oh, well, at least we're in a range of health with that. I don't know if I pull health is too KO. 
So I killed a low pony. That's great. Oh my god, that's fantastic. Now he can go on to his Rotom. He can go on to his... No, he can, can only go on to his Slowbro and the Sylveon. But he decides to go on to his Broloom. I'm okay with that because I can just go on to Oswin and Train Punch. Now he can't spore me. Uh, and I'm bulky enough to take any hit from him. So long as he's not like Sword Stance and tips up on me. Uh, I should be fine. Okay, he has Rock Tomb. Alright. It's a speed drop, it doesn't matter. It's just it's pretty damn slow anyways. I'm just gonna go for Drain Punch. I do have Seed Bomb so I could hit Slowbro and Sylveon, but I don't know if he would be the you know the guy to stay in. Uh, Sil Sylveon, alright. And kill the Sylveon as soon as possible. So. Mm -hmm. And now I guess I'll just stay in and burn a turn of sleep. Oh man, if I could if I could wake up right now, <laughs> that'd be so cool, so good. Please wake up right now. No. All right, comes a slow bro. Guess I'll go into Octoclean, get a bull switch off, or even a will o wisp. Nah, I think Volt Switch would be a lot better. Alright, he, he gets the burn. That's kind of annoying. Try to scoop Volt Switch here. And if he does stay in, I'll go out into my Latios. <clears throat> and just drop a Draco. Alright, he sacks his Rotom here. Good play. Because that means uh, I take, uh, you know, more burn damage than I would have if you had to switch on to like Sylveon or something. <clears throat> Come to Sylveon again. Uh, and I guess here I'll click Will-O-Wisp. Force him to a uh, heal bell and or something. Pretty sure I could take a wish. Hmm. Actually, after the burn, can I take it? I don't know. Cause I, cause I want to go for a pain split. Hyper voice and uh, all right, I, I, I can take it. So I'm gonna go for pain split here and then bolt out. I want to try and go for the like hydro pump, see if that kills, but I doubt it because Sylvan is really fucking bulky. So I'm gonna volt switch out here, go out into my uh, and volt switch out into Diancy. Cause I'm pretty sure he's not gonna have the voice. He's gonna he's gonna most likely uh, wish. If he hyper voices here, then goddamn. Alright, good. And now I can just uh, click Diamond Storm. Actually, I think Moonblast can kill from this range. Alright, he's gonna go into this Bisharp. Uh, take shit ton of damage from that Moonblast. Holy crap. So much fucking damage. Can I take a Sucker Punch from this thing? It's leftovers. Actually, what nature? I think I'm naive. Uh, Diancy. Wait, that's not spell Diancy. Bisharp. 
Uh, no life orb. Alright, nothing. Uh, sucker punch this 31% maximum. Yeah, I can definitely take an, uh, take one, so. <coughs> it's exactly what I'm going to do. Click moon blast. Stay in, click moon blast. Kill the bishop. Yes, I'm a sucker punch. Uh, so that's great. That's very great. And he's just gonna forfeit here. Because. Sylveon was mono attacking. I still have my like, heat train, like a full health, basically. Uh, although he was asleep, uh, I got Chestnut for Berloom, so I have like nothing to worry about. And Slowbro, Slowbro was gonna be more of a pain in the ass. Uh, but you know, now without the Bishop, with the Bishop gone, uh, Latios just shot on his team. So yeah, that yeah, that was that was actually a pretty pretty interesting team. Uh, he didn't have Stealth Rocks though, so that may or may not hurt him. But uh, whatever. I guess I'm just gonna leave it on, leave it here. It's like I'm closing in like 30 minutes. So uh, that'll be it for the show on live. Hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly had a, a blast actually. Uh, more fun than I've had in, in like the past two weeks. But whatever. Uh, definitely expect a lot more showdown live now. Uh, I feel like I've, like I said, I've really haven't been feeling showdown or competitive Pokemon at all. But I'm, you know, I'm slowly trying to get back into it. Uh, like ever since the beginning of sixth gen, I just have had a really hard time adapting to the new meta. Uh, even now with Auras, with just huge changes everywhere, it's just really hard to adapt. Adapt to so. Uh, whatever, uh, that, that, like, uh, whatever. I'm just gonna stop talking here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I shall see you guys again next time. Uh, bye.